Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. From today we are starting a new series and in this series we will build full stack fitness tracker application and in today's video I will give you the project overview and demo. So let's get started. So for the backend we will use Spring Boot and as you can see our demo Spring Boot application is up on port 8080. And in this Spring Boot application, for the Spring Boot version, we will use 3.3.1. And for the Java version, we will use 17. And for the database, we will use MySQL database. And to write the Spring Boot code, we will use IntelliJ. And for the front end, we will use Angular. And as you can see, our Angular application is up on port 42100. And for the Angular version, we will use Angular 17. And to write the Angular code, we will use VS Code Editor. And now let's go to the browser and let's view the application that we will build in this series. And in our fitness tracker application, the first page will be dashboard. And on the dashboard, on the top section, we will view some important stats. And these stats include total calories burned, total distance covered, and total steps taken. And after this, we will show total time spent number of achieved goals and at the end we will show not achieved goals as well and after this in the second section we will show two charts and in the first chart we will show recent workouts and in this chart we will show calories burned and the total duration according to the different dates and after this in the second chart we will show the recent activities and in this we will show calories burned, number of steps taken and the distance covered. And to show these charts we will use chart.js library. And that's it for our dashboard page. Now let's click on this workout menu. And as you can see we got redirected to the workout page. And on this page we have a reactive form to post a new workout. And after this on the right hand side we are showing the past workouts. And for one workout, we are showing calories burned, duration, date and type of the workout. And now let's create a new workout and for the calories burned, I will give it as 150. And after this, for the duration, I will give it as 60 minutes. And then I will select the date as 30. And after this, we need to give the type and let's give it as cardio. And as you can see, our post workout button got enabled. Now let's click on this button and as you can see we got a message workout posted successfully and in the past workouts our data got updated with the new workout record. And after this let's click on this activity menu and as you can see we got redirected to the activity page and on this page we have reactive form to create new activity and on the right hand side we are showing the past activities. And for each activity, we are showing calories burned, the distance covered, steps taken and the date. And now let's create a new activity and for the calories burned, I will give it as 500. And after this, for the distance, I will give it as 60 km. And after this, for the steps, I will give it as 150. And after this, I will select the date as 30. And then I will click on this post activity button. And as you can see, we got a message activity posted successfully and our past activities data got updated with the new activity. And after this, the last page of our application is the goal. So let's click on this menu. And as you can see, we got redirected to the goal route. And on this page, we can see post new goal reactive form. And on the right hand side, we are showing the past goals. And for each goal, we are showing the description, start date, end date. And at the end, we are showing the status as well. And now let's create a new goal. And for the description, I will give it as run 5 km. And after this, I will give the start date as 30. And for the end date, I will give it as 2. And then let's click on this post goal button. And as you can see, we got a message goal posted successfully. And after this to mark the goal achieved we have this checkbox. So let's click on this icon and as you can see we got a message goal updated successfully. And now the achieved status is updated to true. And after this let's click on this dashboard menu. 
and as you can see on the dashboard all the stats and graph got updated according to the new data and that's it for today's video from the next video we will start building these applications in spring boot and angular